Looking back, we marvel at the seemingly random events that caused their paths to cross, a chance that seemed unlikely at best. But as Ecclesiastes 3.11 reminds us, God has made everything beautiful in its time. We cannot fathom what God has done from the beginning to the end. Adam and Jess's story speaks to the guidance of God's hand in just about all of it, perhaps helped along by a certain persistent family member. Adam and Jess have built a relationship upon shared values, unwavering patience, mutual respect, and selfless love. Upon this essential foundation, they have chosen to commit the rest of their lives to each other. What was a shock was when Jess told me that she was moving to Colorado. But it wasn't until I went out to visit her in Colorado that I realized that she was not only okay, she was thriving. See, God had plans for her, and after Tim met Adam, Tim had plans for her. <laughs> I mentioned to Jess about Adam. You can imagine how that went. She lives in Colorado, he lives in Georgia. Pretty dumb idea, Dad. Finally, they agreed to talk, and for many months they did. So I'm here today to tell you that God moves different than we sometimes want. Adam came into the picture in perfect timing, swooping her off her feet. And it was then that I realized that Jess was not only thriving, but she was giddy and she was falling in love. I remember first meeting you and the rush of feelings and what ifs, feeling like this could be it, but also feeling like I couldn't let you in, feeling completely overwhelmed by the love you, how you loved me right off the bat with no reservations and how you treated me like I was brand new feeling like I wasn't worthy of this type of love. Yet slowly but surely, you helped me see that I was not only able to open my heart again, but to trust you with it. Jess, first and foremost, I love you with everything that I have. From the first time I saw you, you've blown me away. Probably why I tried to shake your hand. <laughs> you stepped into my life thanks to a very important person. <laughs> and I couldn't resist wanting to know you more. Booking that plane flight to Denver was the easiest decision I've ever made. I couldn't stand the thought of not seeing you for three months. Adam, this is a once in a lifetime love that I'm so grateful that I didn't let go of or push away. You came into my life at exactly the right time, when I really wasn't ready, and yet when I needed you the most, and truly only in a way that God could have orchestrated. I promise to never forget where we came from, because where we came from brought us exactly here. Family and friends, we gather here today to witness this sacred ceremony, the union of Adam and Jessica and holy matrimony. Jess and Adam invited you here that you might get a glimpse of an important piece of their story, where it all began. Who gives this bride today? Mother and I. We've prayed for this day for so long. You deserve nothing but the best. If we've had learned anything from this relationship, it's God's blessing that has been placed on this relationship. I pray God blesses your marriage every day.
Jess, I knew you were a special woman when Adam drove 13 hours straight on a gas station energy drinks and checked mix. Just don't forget to laugh. Laugh at your failures, laugh at your success, laugh at life because life is funny. I prayed that my sweet little girl would see herself the way I see her. Kind and thoughtful, a heart of gold, not just beautiful on the outside, but more beautiful on the inside. I prayed that God would bring someone to her that would care for her needs, her desires, someone that would not be self-centered, but would love her like Christ loved the church. Someone that would have equal respect for marriage and partnership in the relationship. I'm so proud to call you, Adam, my son-in-law, and I couldn't have handpicked you better myself. I promise to never take for granted the pursuit of love and how powerful that can be in the darkest times. I promise to respect you and support you until we are old and wrinkly. I promise to never let the world get in the way of us. My love for you will never change. You're my person, the person I want to experience life with, have a family with, and grow old with. I promise to keep God at the forefront of our relationship, to push both of us closer to Him so we can look back at our lives and know the impact we left on the people we knew. By the power vested in me by the state of Colorado and by the Universal Life Church, I pronounce you husband and wife. Adam, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to officially present to you Adam and Jessica Dunton. They say when you know, you know. Well, I know that God clearly had a bigger plan for us than we ever had for ourselves. I thank God so much for showing me what real love should look like, the path that led us to each other, and a pretty persistent dad. I guess they both knew something we didn't yet. 